this RGB LED that you can't see. Lovely. Um, right there. Alright, <clears throat> this video serves two purposes. This is the circuit board from one of those $10 star and whooshy LED pattern lights from Walmart. Pretty sure this uh, IC here has failed or it never worked in the first place because it's brand new and it doesn't work. I tested the motor which doesn't run, but with voltage it runs. The LED here, I took this paper clip and shorted across the transistors and the LED goes at full blast. So the LED works, the motor works, and the laser has always worked. The buttons don't toggle anything. So what I'm going to do is unpack this new hot air rework station I bought and I'm going to try to remove these transistors and short solder across the pads and I'm also going to try to wire this motor directly into where is it the USB power input here so that it's just always powered all the time. Basically everything will be on all the time because that's really the only thing I can do with this. I have this hot air rework station from Yinhua that shakes my table, it's so heavy. Uh, let's unbox some stuff. We got tips. Uh, this, ooh, smells terrible. Um, solder tips. It'll probably fall apart quickly. Desoldering wick. Have a soldering iron. Um, desoldering pump. Very, very uh, cheap Chinese desoldering pump. What do you expect? We have lead-free solder wire, so really shitty solder. And we have a foam. That is the hot air gun. What else do we have in here that I can yank out? We have a, uh, we have a black thing. I don't know what that is yet. So this is very unfortunate. I unpacked this hot air reflow station and my camera, my camcorder just stopped working and I, it's never done that. I guess this Yiwa station is just cursed. So I have a soldering iron stand. Uh, pump, um, soldering iron, hot air tips, solder tips, black thing I don't understand yet, solder, and a solder wick. Um, set the stand aside. We have the base. Yeah, this is a, a Yiwa 8786D. Two in one. Huh? Okay. Let's hook up our hot air gun. Come on, there you go, key. All right, weirdo. Hot air gun installed. I actually, uh, this wasn't super cheap, so. I mean, it was cheap for one of these, but it wasn't cheap in general. Pretty excited to use it and uh, hopefully get to the point where I can make some money doing work with it. Um, let me move this closer. Just here. Look, look at my cool shirt. I do what I want. It's a cat throwing a glass off a thing. That's what cats do, they throw things. So, all right. We're gonna. This board, I need these three transistors here removed, and I need to wire this motor on the bottom. We're gonna basically, it, the USB power comes in here. We're gonna hardwire it straight to the USB power. I actually will need to refer back to the device for the polarity on that. It looks like negative is here, and positive is here, so. Um, they actually match up right there. How convenient. Um, I haven't decided how I'm going to attach that. Because <clears throat> if I try to 
attach this here, it's going to melt that away. So I haven't figured it out yet. Ah, there's a master switch in the back. Okay, now, now I have a display showing absolutely effing nothing. Here, I'll show it to you. Absolutely nothing is showing on the display. Let's turn this on. It's not doing anything. Ah, oh, there we go. Woo! Oh, it's alive. Oh, I didn't put a tip on it. Oops. I might, I might want a tip. All right. So we're going to have to prep every single one of these hot air tips. This is, this is frustrating. Oh, do these have sides too? Like, is that a... Oh God, is that a wa washer or something? I don't know and I don't care. I hate this thing already. This, I don't know how the thermal calibration is on this yet, but we'll find out the hard way, I suppose. Ooh, this iron gets very hot. Or iron, I said iron. It is not an iron, not even in the slightest. All right, I probably should calibrate this and come back. All right, I read the manual and calibrated the temperature poorly, very poorly. So now, uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I need to put one of these tips on, actually. Uh, that's kind of a problem. So, <laughs> it's not one thing, it's another, I swear. Will you fit? Uh oh. Mm, not really. Just barely. Almost. Eh, it'll get the job done. Alright. I've got this silicone working mat, which is already very dirty. That that's fantastic. Yeah. Uh yeah. All right, let's see if we can get these stupid transistors off. What do you say? Yeah. <clears throat> Weigh this down a bit. <laughs> I know it's cheap, but whatever. I've never done this before, so I am very much learning. Oh, there it goes. One transistor down. Two transistors down. Oh, that one flew away. That, that one took flight. Get out of there. Get, get off that circuit board. You suck. You suck. Get off the circuit board. Get off the circuit board. Uh, okay, there we go. Yeah, that was probably a little too hot. Okay. Good. Alright. Now, those three transistors are gone. I've got these cute little transistors. Teeny tiny little things. Man, they fit right under my fingernail or something. Alright, so the transistors are gone, so we can short that later. Um, I still need to solder this to that. Jeez. Yeah, I suck at this. I know I suck at this. I'm gonna get all kinds of comments like this this computer guy that knows everything can't even solder a f***ing board. Well, you know, frankly, um, I've never been good at soldering. I've never enjoyed it either. So it's something I have avoided. And I would hope that people would at least applaud my attempt at learning. Experience for me, it is hopefully at a minimum amusing to you. Uh, this wire won't twist up. It's all nasty and stranded. Okay. All right. Looks like I got it. Let's see if I can avoid nuking the insulation in my zeal here. 
I can see why people do use these things, but geez, it's ridiculous. This is also ridiculous. So what I'm going to do is we have this RGB LED that you can't see. Lovely. Um, right there. RGB LED. Okay. And I'm going to bridge these pads here using solder. I'm just going to bridge them together if, if at all possible because there's no point at this point. I'm actually actively trying to bridge this stuff together so let's just bridge them. Now, yeah, the whole blob just freaking went. Alright, well if the whole blob goes then so it goes. Um, I do not condone this thing here where I'm mushing the collectors and emitters or whatever together. Uh, that's not really appropriate, but if that's what I have to do to get this to work, then that's what's going to happen. I don't give a rat's ass at this point. The IC seems fried. Don't know what else to do, so put solder until it does what I want is my motto. There, now I have the nastiest, chunkiest solder blob you've ever seen in your life over... Man, that is a lot of solder over those transistors. Well, where they used to be anyway. So it took me a little while, but I finally got this connection here bridged with some solder. And now I'm gonna plug it in. Let's go a little wider here. Let's plug this in to this computer I'm using for USB power. And let's see what happens when I plug this in and if it catches on fire. Because that's kind of my failure mode is everything just sort of catches on fire. Alright, what's going to happen? Oh, jeez. Ouch. It's really bright, but it's only red. The other colors aren't showing. wonder why. Oof. Why is only red showing, I wonder? Hmm. It's very interesting. Hmm. Is the motor turning? It is. So maybe I can get a, at least a red light. This thing has been really annoying. <laughs> and there it goes. And we need screws one. It's really hard to get these screws in these holes, apparently. Ah, oh, what fun. Let's see what happens. The moment of truth. Oh, guess what? By turning off the light in here, now I can't see the USB light. So, or the USB port. So how am I going to get this plugged up? I'm going to do it in the dark as any good technical person does. And there it is. There it is, boys. There it is. Look at that. Amazing. I mean, it's not amazing, amazing. But there you go. And on the ceiling, we have dancing lights. And that's all I wanted. Now, it's not remote controllable anymore, but it's fixed. 
I would call that success, wouldn't you? Thanks for watching. You know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> feel pretty good about this, getting the LED and the rotation fixed. Yep, hopefully I move on to something a little bit better and learn some techniques that make me suck not so bad. Have a wonderful day. Oh, this is really bright. I can't deal with it. Bye.